Pakistan Navy recently tested an anti-ship ballistic missile, SMASH, with 350-kilometer range. This missile was most likely launched from Navy's F-22 P. Zulfikar frigate. The ballistic missile showcased excellent pinpoint accuracy on a land target, but can it strike a moving enemy warship? Pak Navy claims that the missile can maneuver towards its target warship. This is most likely due to its central fins that can adjust the flight path of missile, but only to a very small extent. This leaves the missile effective only for large tonnage warships like destroyers and aircraft carriers that move very slowly over the ocean. It would be interesting to know what sort of warship tracking system this smash missile is using. Most likely a radar system, but it's still a mystery. Now let's discuss the anatomy of smash. The missile looks naval version of FATA-2 missile system, although with highly modified guidance systems to strike the moving targets. The commonality of smash with FATA-2 in missile design, rocket motors, and warhead ensures higher production rate and lower engineering costs. Is SMASH actually a hypersonic missile system? The missile travels on depressed trajectory to reduce reaction time for enemy. This means the missile's flight path is actually endoatmospheric, where it faces heavy air resistance. The solid fuel rocket motor steers it through the endoatmosphere at supersonic speed. But once the motor runs out of fuel in terminal stage, the missile strikes the target at the speed of about Mach 1. So in operational sense, SMASH is not a hypersonic missile. But theoretically, if it climbs at higher altitude and then dives toward the target, it can most likely go hypersonic at impact point. But the problem here is that enemy will get enough reaction time to adjust its defenses against smash. So practically, speed will be sacrificed for better survival of missile.